Now what I'm doing right now is I planted a bed of strawberries uh, back probably about a month ago now, maybe a little under a month. And I got them bare root online, and this bed, I built the bed right before I planted them. This bed, I filled it with mostly topsoil, mostly bagged topsoil, along with some uh, soil, you know, out of the ground here for filler and a few bags of compost. And um, I kind of feel a little bit of regret for, uh, well, planting them in this soil that's so, I don't know, actually know how depleted it is, but it doesn't have much organic matter or anything in it. And I'd like to change that. And the root systems of these strawberries are not too deep yet to where I can't amend the soil in between them. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm hauling out a row in between. I'm going to do this between all of them, I think. I'm going to hoe out a row between all of them where I'm going to dig it up. And then I'm going to put a bag of this in throughout the bed so that there's at least some more, you know, nutrients and stuff inside of it. I might go a bag and a half. I have another bag of it. So I just need some to use for some other stuff. Ooh, that's pretty hot actually from sitting out in the sun. All right, you can see I'm just taking handfuls. The roots in these strawberries aren't that far out yet, so I don't have to feel bad about disturbing the soil near them. One more handful ought to do it. For this row at least. Then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cover it back up. This is to do two things. It's to A really activate the compost and B so that if there's any transplant, or not any transplant shock, but any shock to the roots if I scraped any of them, that the plants will have an easier time dealing with it. This water is really good for uh, transplant shock. I'm gonna fill up the watering can again. All right, what I have now is whatever was left in that bucket, um, I decided that I go over to the well, I'd get some water and I make compost tea. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fill in the water, fill up the watering can first of all, and see if I can do that without losing all of it. All right, now I'm going to apply this just sparingly, not too much, to the plants in here. I think that's good and hopefully these things should be wet enough now to where any shock from me damaging the roots potentially will be taken uh, in stride now it's a couple weeks later and you can see these plants have really really taken off some of them I went on a trip for a few days to Kansas and some of them almost doubled in size in that time just three days I was gone and I came back I was like whoa uh, something happened here now in order to increase your strawberry yields, I think one of the most important things is during the first season depends on the type of strawberries you have. These are all everbearing, which means they'll produce generally consistently throughout the season, maybe have a couple big crops, but they won't just have more, they'll have more than one, you know, crop, not just the June crop uh, that most produce, you know, June bearings produce in the spring. So there's two different things you need to do for the two different types of, uh, the two different general types of strawberries. Again, these are everbearing. I got Tribute right here, and I have Ozark Beauty over here. They're both everbearing varieties. What you want to do for everbearing, for the first few months until the plants are established, I'd say two to three months at least since they're planting, you want to take off the flowers for all of them so that they can get well established and root. And these ones I have been doing that. You can see actually, I came back. I didn't even. I took them all off before I left, but. I just took this one off, 
it really makes me sad to do so. I'm on infinity focus, so I'll turn on autofocus here. Where's it at? Oh. All right. So you can see, eh, still having a hard time, but uh, you can see it's a flower there. You get the point. It's a flower. I took it off. Um, and actually, there's even one here. Uh, if you know strawberry plants, you know that they put off runners. Right here, this is a runner. But this will do here is this will come off the mother plant and it will set off a new plant right here basically if it gets bigger and it'll root in and it'll be like an umbilical cord and basically the plant basically the plant clones itself and I'm going to let those certainly go uh, at some point but I just want to make sure these plants get established and it kind of pains me to do so because everbearing plants don't put out nearly as many runners as June bearings but I'm going to be taking this off because I want this to get established and I don't want it to support another plant just yet. I will be letting them go though. I'll give them another month. These have, were planted in early April. Um, so I'm going to give them maybe through the middle to the end of June before I do anything. Uh, and, I, and let them go I mean. But what I'm going to do is every so often I just go through here. See this? Right there. This is a flowering bud. And basically what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take it off. Right there. I don't like doing it, but it's kind of painful to do it. But you got to do it in order for these plants to get so big. I don't think these plants would be nearly as big if I let them produce flowers when they wanted to within just weeks of planting them. So I'll just go around. As you can see right here, here's one with a decently sized flower bud. Pick it off. And I just throw it down in the bed. There's some weeds in here I gotta pull. I pulled them before I left uh, for Kansas and uh, they came back pretty quickly. Everything's growing like crazy. We got a bunch of rain. We actually just got more rain. And it's been in the 80s. So combine those two things and you get rapid growth in your plants. See, here's our flower bud here. Oh crap, this one's putting off a bunch of flowers. There's one right here. This one's got a leaf on it. Huh. I'm going to leave this one just because I want to... Ah, I don't know. I'm going to leave it because it's kind of confusing. I don't want to damage the plant more than I have to. I'll leave it until it gets a little bigger. This one right here. Flower bud. Down on the ground. And I throw them all back down into the soil because this soil uh, doesn't have much organic matter in it right now and I want it to get some more. So, more weeds. Yeah, you just go around. This one doesn't have any buds on it yet. This one has some that are too small to pick. Oh, here. Here's a decently sized one. This one's actually about to bloom. There we go. Throw it in the ground. I'll do this for about another month, month and a half, because these plants are really growing, and I think they're getting somewhat closer to the point where they can start producing fruit. In fact, I was tempted to leave uh, one of them on yesterday, but I uh, thought it was better to just take it off and let it get bigger. But again, these plants are growing. They're explosive. You want them to put as much energy into growth in their first few months to year, depending on the type, on the, uh, type of strawberry. Everbearing, the first few months. June bearing, the first year, because even though later in the summer, the June bearings might have the root system now to support fruit, they're not going to be fruiting. So unfortunately, you have to waste the first year for June bearing. For everbearing, you have to waste the first maybe a few months, which is much more tolerable. But this combined with fertilizing, uh, maybe compost tea, something along those lines, use a fertilizer of some kind, I think it's best best thing to do. Um, I don't really care. I'm not, I, I tend to go organic, but I don't really, you know, I'm not that against inorganic stuff, at least, especially in moderation. Do whatever, you know, do whatever makes you comfortable. Um, just. Make sure your strawberry plants get nutrients. I've been doing compost tea and uh, some general uh, organic fertilizer, but anything you do, it should be fine. But overall, thank you for joining me. Uh, I have quite a bit of work to do in this garden here. I'm just gonna give you a little brief overview. Yeah, uh, I got plenty of stuff coming up. And I'll have more videos coming out, hopefully, now that I have time to do so. We also have the big garden over there. So. Thank you so much for watching. Hope your strawberries do well. 
All right, thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye.